yesterday, well, I've got two schools in this ongoing national science and math quiz. One is my own school, Zion College in Angloga. The other is Pop John for good reasons. Yesterday, they made me super proud. It's the first time they pulled through in two years. Uh, and sadly, it was Becky School Sunrise and Adventist Girls Senior High School. They failed to progress to the next stage. So details of this plus other context held yesterday and what to expect today. Nancy Emma Fajradosi joins me live. Nancy, I bet you didn't know I had a Pope John connection. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But I only know that Zion College is where your heart belongs to. <laughs> Okay, um, Nancy, lots of people are talking about Pop Joan, but what else but, uh, mm. can you update us on in terms of yesterday's contest? Mm. So, Mama B, let me say that yesterday we had quite interesting contest here at the NNB block and also at the RS Amegashi Hall um, at the Business School of the University of Ghana. Let me just run you by some of the figures, um, some of the results that were recorded here. Let me, let me start with your favorite school, Pope John Senior High School. Pope John School, they cited very well. In fact, let me say that when, before the contest, Sunrise Senior High School, just because last year they beat Opokuware Senior High School, a lot of people were expecting them to give Pope John Senior High School a run for their money, but that did not happen. In fact, even before the contest started, their school were, you know, singing, chanting, you know, and saying that the, the contest was for them. But unfortunately for them, after the, the contest, Pope John Senior High School were able to win by 57 points. Sunrise Senior High School had 27 points, That's a difference of 30. And also Adventist Girls also came up with 21. So what this means is that Sunrise has 27 points. They are among the 18 highest losing schools. But if the, other, if the next schools or the other schools that are yet to compete get more than 27, it means that Sunrise Senior High School will not be shining. The sun will be setting down on them and will have to take their bags back to the Volta region. So that's what happened yesterday um, with that contest. Also, we had Ghana Senior High School from Tamale. We had Ekomomai Senior High School and Drobo Senior High School. Let me say that that particular contest was very interesting and there's a possibility that all three schools will be qualifying to the next round of the competition. In fact, Ekomomai won by 44, um, 44 points. Drobo Senior High School had 36 points. That makes them the second um, highest losing school after Brekum um, Senior High School with 39 points. Ghana Senior High School also had 33 points, making them among the top um, seven schools to make it to have the highest losing schools. Then we had Ofori Penyi, we had Tamale Science Senior High School, and our Lady of Mount Carmel Girls Senior High School. Ofori Penyi Senior High School managed to win by 41 points. Tamale Science Senior High School also got 36 points. The winner of this particular contest was determined um, by the riddle of the day. And so the riddle is, is what allowed Ofori Penyi to win convincingly. Then we go to the RS Amegashi Hall. At the RS Amegashi Hall, we had Oti Boateng Senior High School, Kentampo Senior High School, and Jirapa Senior High School. Oti Boateng won by 43 points. And the second school, which is Kentampo Senior High School, got 23. That's a big difference of 20. Then we had Osino. That's a very interesting contest. This interesting contest is the Osino Presby Senior High School, T.I. Amas Ekonfi Senior High School, and Akachi SHTS. Guess what, Mama V? T.I. Amas Ekonfi Senior High School, they were leading in the first four rounds. The riddle, we we'll go to round five. Osino Presby won almost, got almost all the riddles, and so gave them advantage, and they won by 38 points. While C.I. Amas, who took advantage or were leading within the first and fourth round, got 31 points. Now we come to the last contest. We had St. John's School, they had 42 points. Bremang Esikuma had 32, and Adonting Senior High School had 23. And so basically, that's how um, those particular contests turn out. So we're going to be having very interesting contests. I'll come to those ones today. But Mama V, I want to just say that 
in also for some of the schools, they are already seeded, and their contestants do not come to observe what is happening here, but they are scouts, or we call them spies because their job is to come here, listen to the questions, take notes of the questions, go back to their, um, their contestants or their school and give the questions back to them to be able to solve. I've been joined by two of the schools, um, two spies from the schools, I'll call them spies. Um, thank you very much for joining us. This is uh, William from Infante Pim Senior High School and also that is Valentine from University Practice. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, you are a scout or a spy. Tell us what exactly you do for Infantipim. As I came here to observe the contest, how the schools were performing, especially during the round two, how to be pressing the balls, so that to keep our boys informed about how good these schools are, especially since I guess since they are all from Central Region, so that you know, when we meet them, we will to know their strategies and plan well for them. Thank you very much. Okay, so what you're saying is that you actually study their mood, you study how they ring the bells, how they answer the questions, their strengths and their weaknesses. You go back and then you talk about it, you share it with them. Yes, please. Do you take note of some of the questions as well? Yeah, some of the questions. So that's sharing the round three. The point is so that we won't, like, we're getting 10 out of 10. So you need to win the star. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you know you already want to share your observations with us yet. So let me speak to <laughs> let me speak to Valentine also. Valentine, how many of the concerts have you witnessed? Almost all. Especially here at the NNP? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so I want to believe that there's another spy or there's another scout at the RS Amegashi Hall. Yeah. So do you do something different from what the fancy film does or the same thing? What do you do when you come here? We do almost the same thing. When I come here, I try to observe how the contestants perform on stage. Then I also take note of some of the questions so that um, um, our boys can solve. Yeah. So that, um, what do you call it? They can, they can have a feel of um, how this year's contest will be like. Uh, okay. You, your school was eliminated by uh, National Ghana National College yes, last sir. year. This year, you are coming in still as a seeded school. Yes, please. Per the preparations you've seen your boys go through, do you think that they are ready to go through all the schools? I'm sure you've seen St. Augustine's College. You've seen Apam Senior High School. You've seen Pope John. They came out with big, you know, scores. Do you think they're ready to match them? Yeah, I think so. This year we have high hopes. Um, we are trying our best. We, we work hard. We, we do our best. Then we know that God will complement our efforts so that we get to wherever we want to get to this year. Wow. We'll be watching that. Uh, can you give the microphone to Infantipe? Let me ask Infantipe. William, uh, yes, last year we had, oh, is it Owusu? Oh, what's his name? Uh, Owusu. Oh, Owusu oh, Apia. Yeah. Uh, we had the other guy, I've forgotten his name. They were brilliant. Answer. Um, but they were beaten by your uh, rivals at the Sadel College from the Central Region still. This year, what new thing are they bringing on board? You've seen them prepare, you've also witnessed here. Do you think that they are ready to go to the schools and take uh, the ultimate? They prepared well enough and I think we've been trying to we've been trying to correct our mistakes last year and I think right now uh, we've done very well with that and I think when we, cro when we meet this school again, especially at this school or girls school, think we will survive. You will survive. Yeah. Mamavi, you heard them, uh, in front of him and university practice, they said they will survive. But quickly, today's contest, I'm sure you're just waiting for me to mention your school. But let me say that uh, Edinaman Senior High School will be competing against Ahantaman Girls and MFA Apau School, uh, Ola Girls Senior High School. I should say that Edinaman was among the top five. Um, they had 54 points recorded in Port A. Ahantaman Girls had 37 at the, pre at the regional level, and Ola Girls had 28. It is not really very impressive. But also, we have T.I. Amas Fomena, um, Ganata Senior High School, and Amman. Ting Senior High School. Uh, a lot of people are predicting that TI Amas for men will take it because of the fact that they were placed in Port A. But anything, from what we've seen, anything at all can happen. Then we come to Ghana Senior High School, Ghana's from Kuforidia. Um, they had 37 points, which are among one of the lowest for Port A. And then we have Atebubu Senior High School, 
and also you have the giant slayers. You call them giant slayers. They are, they are called Hack Mount Sinai. Um, they won by 27 points. They were in Port C, but they were able to beat St. Rose's Senior High School and also Benkum Senior High School at the regional level. Then we have Laboni Senior High School. We have Frafraha Community SHS. Those people are also giant uh, slayers. Watch out for them because they were able to beat Accra High Senior High School and stop them from coming into the competition. And also they'll be competing against Kwabeng Anglican Senior High School. Then we have Presby Senior High School in Kwetia, Kajebi Asato SHS, and Techiman Senior High School. And finally, last but not the least, Mama V, we have GSTS, um, um, Zion College, Zico, um, and also Eduman Senior High School. I know where your heart is. I'm not going to ask you which school is going to win, and I'm not going to tell you the predictions. Mama V, should I put you on the spot? You promise uh, to be here. Will you be here? <laughs> Oh, I wish I could, uh, but I doubt. What, what time is that, that context? Uh, what's the specific time? As that context is in the afternoon. It's in the afternoon. Okay. So you can still make it, Mama V. Okay, that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't work too well for me, but I will be monitoring because I have to pick up my boys from school. You know that, Nancy. Nancy MFA Jadosi, live from the University of Ghana. Uh, join the National Science and Mass Quiz conversation. Use the hashtag... NSMQ on joy. Be sure to get all the updates uh, on this ongoing national science and mass quiz. Stay with us here on the AM show. When we come back, we're talking uh, the, the Ghana Cut.